that it might take a second for people to get into the room. Um, we are going to be talking the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, guys, um, and possibly Salt Lake City if we have an opportunity. I don't know how much time I'm going to have today, but I stumbled on something that I thought was really interesting, um, and I wanted to share it with you guys, and um, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to go live this morning and talk to you guys. Um, okay, so before we get started, everything in this video, of course, is alleged. Um, and I don't have a banner up. I should add that. Um, so everything in this video, of course, is alleged. Um, we are going to be talking about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, which is going to be giving us the third part to the reunion tonight. And I am here to tell you guys, Unless if you found the trailer explosive, it's not going to be an explosive reunion third part like everyone thinks it is. There is already rumors of production making big, big, big cuts um, when it, as it pertains to Kathy um, and these receipts that Erica Jane and Lisa Renna allegedly had brought to the reunion to corroborate their statement about Kathy and, um, you know, these racist statements that she may have made. Now, in the meantime, I talked to you guys yesterday about a um, picture that was going around the internet that was Lisa holding a firearm. Um, it got taken off of Instagram. It was allegedly taken from when she was on Days of Our Lives. And I did get someone who sent me a photo from the days of our lives times when Lisa was on it and she was holding a firearm and she looked a lot like she looked in the photo that we saw um, going around Instagram and now we don't, unless if we screenshot it, we don't have nothing to refer it to, but she just looked puffy. Lisa looked very puffy, puffy in the photo, like she had got just gotten a lot of filler done maybe. And so that's why I think that it's easy to kind of tell that it is her because she doesn't really look like herself. She looks like she, you know, got like a chemical peel and a chemical burn and like <laughs> some Botox and some filler and she looked really, really puffy, okay? Anyways, guys, so I'm scrolling Kathy Hilton's uh, Twitter today and apparently Patrick Summers is as well. Now, Patrick is the one who reposted this photo of Lisa Renna um, and he said that she legitimately posted it and a lot of people said they saw it on her story. Um, your mom's watching account said this was definitely not something that she posted. Um, it was something that Patrick allegedly had taken um, because Lisa had posted it years ago. So it looked legit because her name was in the corner, but Lisa had not actually posted it. Now, I was on Kathy Hilton's Twitter, and me and Patrick Summers must be on the same uh, deal because 36 min minutes ago, he posts um, on Instagram. I'm going to read it to you guys. He says, it has been confirmed as of two minutes ago by Kathy Hilton via Twitter that Lisa Renna 1000% did want to hire a hitman against me and Kathy Hilton. And he then tags LAPD and NBC. He then takes a photo of what Kathy Hilton tweeted, which Kathy Hilton retweeted. Candy Washington, who is a blogger, did a exclusive. This is what it's titled. Bad news for Lisa Renna exposed in leaked DMs for asking for a hitman against Kathy Hilton. Real reason she deleted the, the Instagram. Kathy retweeted that on 10-16. Before the photo, which is strange. Um, then he attaches a very blurry um, correspondence between Lisa and we don't know who else. And it's allegedly her asking for a hitman. Um, this is on Twitter, guys. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and retweet it, of course. Um, but I just want you guys to think about the fact that he's sharing this, but Kathy shared it back on 10-6 and so if Kathy shared it back on 10 16 and then Lisa posts a photo with a firearm that doesn't make a lot of sense does it guys I mean I want to know from you guys it's that when I saw that it made me feel like she must have been um he must have saw that before and so then he came up with the um you know whole firearm photo allegedly is what they're saying um I'm not going to be able to retweet that with that. Um, 
I wanted to tag your mom's watching, but I don't think she has a Twitter account. Uh, so anyways, does that make sense to you guys? Do you think that Kathy would repost a blogger's um, story saying that Lisa tried to hire a hitman and she did that on the 16th and then yesterday this photo of Lisa allegedly with this gun um, and a note to Patrick was, um, you know, spreading around Instagram. So I don't know guys, this is all very, very, very fishy. Um, I want to know what you guys think. I don't have an opinion. I want to know what you guys think. Um, also guys, this reunion, we're already getting word that the reunion is not going to be amazing. Again, they're deleting the notes um, that Lisa and Erica allegedly had corroborating their story about her and these racial um, slurs that she allegedly made. So now the question will lie with, will Le if Lisa and Erica actually had proof... Um, and they haven't showed it this whole time. They probably thought because it was going to get shown at the reunion and now it's not. So is Lisa going to be able to repost what she has and share with us the receipts if it doesn't make it to the reunion? I don't know if she will because it sounds like somebody's, it almost seems like her IG is like going to get shut down over this photo um, that she allegedly posted about Kathy. And then now we have Kathy retweeting um, from the 16th, a blogger who says uh, Lisa Renna was trying to allegedly hire a hitman. Um, and so now it's almost like they're making, I am not team Lisa, but to me, it seems like they're really trying to um, disqualify, if you will, anything that Lisa is saying or posting. And it kind of feels like it's on purpose because then if Lisa comes out with all of the, sorry guys, I'm just trying to see where my chats are. There we go. Um, if Lisa comes out saying anything or proof allegedly, then no one will believe her because she's, they think she's posting all this craziness. Alan says, I'm telling you, Lisa is not a saint, but Kathy is trying to hide something. I, I I'm kind of with you, Alan. I, I don't like to take sides in this situation, but why this is, nobody had said anything about a hitman. We've never heard one rumor. We've heard some rumors. The one rumor we have never heard is Lisa trying to hire a hitman to knock off Kathy and Patrick Summers. First of all, I just think that sounds a little out in left field. Maybe, um, you know, clickbait, if you will. I don't know. I didn't listen to the entire um, podcast, right? But Kathy did. She says so. She retweeted it. Um, and that was back on the 16th. And now a week later, this photo comes out that allegedly Lisa posted on her IG. Maybe she did post it making fun of the fact that Kathy retweeted um, the thing about the hitman. And she was like trying to make a joke about it. Um and it just didn't land well, so she took it down. We know she has a new publicist. Catherine says, I think there was a conspiracy to take Kathy down initiated by Kyle. Catherine, I have heard this perspective, and it doesn't sound like it's implausible, okay? People have said Kyle has Lisa doing her dirty work, that Lisa and Kyle did plot behind uh Kathy's back. Um, I don't think maybe Kyle was always sincere about wanting her sister on the show, but I think because she knew Andy Cohen has been trying to get Kathy Hilton on the show for, I don't know, since the beginning. I mean, the show was supposed to be about three sisters. The show was originally going to be about Kim, Kyle, and Kathy. So originally, Bravo thought they were getting Kathy, but they weren't getting Kathy. And I just think that if Kyle really wanted her to do the show. She would have done it a long time ago. A long, long, long time ago. Like, she barely even made guest appearances once in a while. I think it was, like, Farrah's graduation or something, and they didn't even come. They just sent, like, a huge bouquet and a big-ass check that they didn't put the exact amount on TV. Um, I think Kyle liked keeping Kathy in the spotlight. I remember seeing a TMZ report, um... And they were talking about how Kathy's been the social light in Beverly Hills for years. And her and Rick, they like to be the social light. They like to go out to dinner. They like to know everyone. And so I think Kyle finally had her own little niche um, with the housewives after Kim, you know, left. And I think that she didn't want to have to compete with Kathy. 
Um, hey, Reality Diamond. Hey, hey, hey. Um, I hope that you have a second and can go on Kathy Hilton's Twitter account and take a look at what she retweeted on the 16th, Freddie. She retweeted um, a podcast from an account basically saying that Lisa Renna was trying to get a hitman uh, to get rid of her. This was posted on the 16th. So check it out before it gets taken down. Um, it's like one of her most recent ones. She's been on there, you know, doing a little bit here and there, but not much. Um, so that is a little weird. <laughs> Just gonna say. And then we have Salt Lake City going after the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And um, we are going to be talking about how Whitney and she feels like Heather weaponized her, um, you know, trauma against her. Heather is still standing strong that she has not heard the specific rumor about Lisa. But she does say, you know, that her and um, Whitney have been talking about Lisa Renna or Lisa, Lisa Renna. I have Lisa Renna's name on my mind. Uh, have been talking about Lisa Barlow for, you know, the beginning of time. She's like, we've been talking about Lisa for forever. Right. Um, and so I'm sure that they've talked a lot of shit about Lisa between Whitney and Heather. Right. So if they turn on each other, is Whitney going to tell Lisa everything that Heather said about her? Also, um, it was my friend and fellow YouTuber Candy Washington's live Kathy shared on Twitter. That's awesome that she's your friend. Yes, I think that was the name, Washington. Um, I didn't get a chance to listen to it all, but I'm definitely going to. I just think it's so crazy that that came out on Twitter and then you know, this whole photo of Lisa with the, the GU firearm, whatever you want to call it. Um, like maybe she was trying to make fun of the, um, article that, or not the article, but the podcast that Kathy had retweeted about the hitman situation. Maybe that's why she did it. And then her new publicist was like, um, you're going to give me a pay raise if you think you're going to be out here, um, posting shit like this because, uh, that is like, you know, your publicist, your team, whatever, they don't want you out there making messes that they got to clean up. And she is a new publicist. Um, and you know, oh, I do have good tea. I forgot. Ah, I forgot. Are you guys ready? Is everyone listening? Get your coffee, get your snacks. This is good tea. I came across about Harry Hamlin and his location in Canada. More about Harry Hamlin. So make sure you guys all hit that like button. This basically, I came across something, someone that lives close in the area, the vicinity of Harry Hamlin, which they did confirm was like a richy area, if you will. Now, she said that Harry has, they have their own island, okay? It's a family, um, it's not a very family heirloom, but it's family property passed down from five generations, and Harry and Lisa own the entire island. Now, over the last couple of years, guess what they've been doing? They've been plotting off part of the island and selling off plots of land, okay? Basically, what happens is if you have large property, like 100 acres, and you decide you want to sell 50, just like anything else, you don't, well, not like anything else, but you're not going to sell 50 acres in bulk when you can cut up those 50 acres into 20, um, or I'm sorry, whatever, like 10 maybe, I don't know, five acres, say five acre lots, um, you're going to get more money if you break it up into smaller lots. So allegedly, that's what Harry and Lisa have been doing. And it doesn't make sense. Even the person that said it doesn't, it doesn't make sense because of the fact that it's been in their family for five generations. It's a private island in Canada in a richy area. Why would you start plotting it off and selling it unless if you needed the money? And this corroborates everything Freddie and I have been saying that Lisa and Harry have three different mortgages on that house in Beverly Hills. Okay, they can't mortgage it again. They've lived there for 25 years. They've made zero updates. He doesn't work. She does the housewives. She lost her deal with, um, she, well, not, I don't know, QVC. She has some like clearance stuff on QVC. But regardless, 
that's how they've been staying afloat, guys. It makes sense, okay? They're plotting off private property in a richy area in Canada and selling off the lots. That's what they're doing. And that's how they're staying afloat. And that's how they're keeping two houses. Um, and Lisa keeping up the facade of everything that's going on. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Yet their home still isn't paid for. What the heck have they done with all of their money? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like I said, guys, if you, you wouldn't. Another thing to consider is if you have property by your home, like I live on five acres, if I have a hundred acre plot that comes up to my my property line, wouldn't I rather have one person buy that acreage so I only have one neighbor versus plotting it up and having 10 neighbors with 10 different personalities and their kids and their dogs and their their guns, sorry, their guns going off and their dogs barking, whatever it is. I mean, it's just common sense that you don't want to have a lot of neighbors if you're if you're on a private island. So you would only do that, say you couldn't keep up on the taxes or whatever. You would sell a large chunk or you would just sell to like one person, not as many as you can. Maybe Lisa took the loans out to keep up with her lifestyle for the show and maybe Harry lives, I think Harry lives in Canada full time. I think they have, a, their marriage is like a contract, just like her contract to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I definitely think she had to keep it up for the show. Starting Lisa Renna Lip Kit, when did we start that? When did she start that, guys? In 2020? or it, it, She did it be right before, I think, um, Erica got fi or got divorced and all of that transpired because there was a lot of rumors about the five million dollars possibly been given to Lisa to invest in the lip kit company. And then um, that's what's kept Lisa and Erica such close friends. So maybe in starting the lip kit, Lisa was like, we need cash now, Harry. So they start selling off plots to keep themselves afloat. And Lisa makes promises that hopefully her, her uh, lip kit will make them, you know, some quick cash because even Lisa will tell you herself, she's a hustler. She's always been a hustler. She made a million dollars off that Depends commercial when she had to walk the runway and her Depends diaper and she doesn't care. So she'll do anything to make the money. Um, it seems like Harry doesn't do much. So where is all the money going? Maybe they spent the, I mean, here's the thing, guys. We have to remember whenever they had their store, that store went bankrupt, okay? And that's when Harry and Lisa actually were starting their own reality show. Um, and they were on Good Morning America and the store was getting robbed at the same time and Harry answers the phone and Lisa's like, see, this is our life. It's just so exciting. Make sure you watch our reality show. They needed money. They needed money then. They needed money when they did the Pens commercial. They needed money when she got on QVC. They've always needed money. I don't know what Harry did with his money. Maybe he didn't make as much money. He hasn't made stuff in a long, long time. Um, I don't know. Their house definitely should be paid for, but they have three mortgages on it. There's paperwork to show that. They have the raise the two girls in a Beverly Hills sort of lifestyle. Um, but they've never really spoiled their children. We know uh, you know, they don't pay for their homes or apartments and the girls have been modeling. So I don't know where their money goes. They must squander it. Um, I don't think they have a lot of income except for probably Lisa's. And they're selling off property to stay afloat. And now she's going to lose her contract. I'm sure she's been anticipating this, guys. I, I'm not surprised. Are you guys surprised if she doesn't sign and come back next season? <coughs> Sorry, my chats keep going away. I can't see you guys when you're chatting. I hate that. Okay, there we go. Um, so that's what's been going on in Harry and Lisa's world. They're literally selling off property um, on Harry's private island in Canada to stay afloat. I mean, Harry's in his 70s. I don't know. It doesn't seem like he would need a lot of money to live. But on the other hand, I like think about uh, the money that people squander on like sex and um, their desires that they feel like they deserve. Like who knows what Harry does? Like who really knows what he spends his money on um, up there on this private island in Canada. He could be doing just about anything and none of us would know it. Uh, he looks 
older than he normally looks for sure when we did see him on the Beverly Hills Housewives. Lisa still looks exactly the same, but, and so does their house. I'm almost starting to feel bad for her. She did a TikTok in her hallway a couple of days ago, and I thought it was so funny because um, I was like, I think she's embarrassed to show her house. Like, I think enough people have commented and said, like, girl, your house needs a bucket of hot water and a rag and a mop taken to it. You need to clean it up. Okay, you've got dogs in there. you got to clean um, and so I think she was, like, filming in the hallway <laughs> because she didn't, like, want her house to be in the background. Uh, Alan says, yeah, she was, she stay in that hallway or the bedroom. Like, yeah, it's, like, she doesn't want us to see any more of the house, but we all know, like, it looks exactly the same. The kitchen looks everything. Even the rugs. They haven't even replaced the rugs, like, the throw rugs in the kitchen. Everything is the same. And now we know why, because they couldn't afford to. I wonder, I don't know. I don't know what I wonder. But I want to know what your guys' opinion is about Harry in uh, Canada plotting off his family private island and selling it. Um, Also, what else did I have to tell you guys? There was something else that was going around, but I can't remember who it was about. Um, I talked to you guys yesterday about Brooke's uh, baby shower that Kathy Hilton threw for her. We saw all of the cousins um, coming together for it, but we did not see um, Kim or Kyle. So that was a little weird. I wasn't sure why we didn't see Kim at Brooke's baby shower. Didn't make a lot of sense. Um, Also, guys, I want to know what your thoughts are. It's like Potomac isn't doing that well so far this season. Um, do you guys think that the time slots, like, is Salt Lake City getting a little bit of an advantage if they're airing after Beverly Hills? Or do you think, uh, that Potomac has a good spot on Sunday nights? Because, you know, Sunday nights is Atlanta night, that previously. Also, Real Housewives of Atlanta were spotted filming at Candace's live concert, and Marlo Hampton was in attendance. So any of these reports going around saying Marlo was banned, Marlo is not filming, it's all a lie. Um, she is filming for Atlanta, and they went to Candace's um, live show, which confused me a little bit because Candace went live with Portia and said she wouldn't be in Atlanta. Like Atlanta was their last stop. Um, weird. Very, very weird. Marlo is just like Lisa too. Good for TV. (laughs) Oh, that's so funny. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to come on and tell you guys that tidbit of information that I found out about Harry and Lisa, because you guys know I come on and tell you guys everything that I hear. Not everything. Some stuff I do keep. I promised. But that was one of the things I thought you guys would appreciate hearing this morning. Um, Make sure you guys leave a comment, hit a like button, subscribe. If you have any questions or any topics you want to hear a little bit more about, definitely make sure that you comment um, so that I can try to cover them. And I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. Bye.